Hello everybody, um, just thought I'd go ahead and do a follow-up on my uh, second night of testing um, the vehicle for survival in the wilderness. Actually, I'm not really in the wilds, although sort of. Um, I'm actually in an urban development area that was abandoned. And as you can see, it's um, overgrown. People use it for camping. And um, I found a spot that I think is going to do um, for a temporary residence until um, my situation is straightened out. And um, I didn't spend the night at this spot. I just found it this morning. Um, I spent the night at my first spot, which, you know, the raccoons or whatever tried to attack me the other night. Um, but this morning I decided to scout around and, and found this spot, which I think will do. It's like a little compound almost. And, um, people have used it to camp and build bonfires, I guess, or campfires out here. Um, I'm planning on clearing all this up and trying to make this area nice. And as you can see, I've already, uh, cleared a spot here to park my vehicle. I've, um cleared out the ground and just made it nice and trimmed some of the bushes and stuff here so that I can park in. So I have a nice little area where I can kind of um, park. Um, the vehicle itself seems to be doing pretty well with the upgrades. I managed to make it through the night without too much incident, although um, I didn't pull into the parking spot till nighttime and when I got in, mosquitoes got in. And those mosquitoes are really bad. Um, I don't know if you can see on here, there are like blood spots on the sheet and on the ceiling and stuff. That's from me um, squishing the mosquitoes. So that may be an ongoing issue. Um, I don't know if I'm going to end up maybe trying to spray the vehicle with um, bug spray or something, insect repellent or something. But um, that'll be an ongoing problem out here, but um, I think I can deal with it. The uh, vehicle itself, Little Blue, has been upgraded to have... Um, built-in screens um, over here in the back door I mean back window area originally I had um, put screens here across this whole door and I used the magnets these magnets here to hold it in place so I had screens across the side doors and across the front door or the front windows the problem with it is that um, the animals tried to get in and those screens are just, you know, thin little uh, nylon screens. So I decided for safety, I'm not going to sleep with the doors open and the windows wide open like I did that first night. As a result, I went ahead and upgraded the, um, the rear windows with these, um, the mosquito netting. I went ahead and, and put it there so that I can pop the window out. And it, it, it keeps the, um, the vehicle looking stealth. Like these can just go in and you can see it looks almost normal. You'd have to really step up to it to see that there's um, mosquito netting. But with that, I can easily pop it out and I got some cross ventilation. I have one there and one here on this side so I can get air going through. I'm going to just shut it and it looks normal. Pull it out and I have um, windows with mosquito netting. Now for the front, I went ahead and made a slip on. This here. I went ahead and made a slip on that I just slipped on top of the um, window frame. And here I can lower and raise the window as needed. And on the bottom I sealed it with magnets, those hard drive magnets. So this allows me to open this fully if I wanted to, though um, for safety I probably won't roll it down more than um, one quarter of the way, 25% down, just because animals may try to jump and crawl through. As you can see, I've got my um, portable custom toilet, emergency toilet here. And it is sitting on um, what used to be the bench for the back portion. And it's now been cut so that it's um, a stool pretty much used for uh, Little Blue's office mode. But the toilet works great. And with that little stool underneath, it's pretty much uh, almost the same height as a regular toilet. The bed itself is um, you know, pretty much the same other than I went ahead and um, put two sleeping bags and zipped them up, um, you know, like wide open and use that almost like a pillowcase. Then I put the, the seat cushions from the lawn chairs inside as well as the um, bed foam. And 
The bed itself right now is very comfortable. It feels pretty much as comfortable as a regular bed. And I was able to sleep on it with no problem. So that seems to be working really well. I also have um, this um, soap dispenser for laundry that can be used to um, work as a sink. You know, if you need water, see, wash yourself, wash your hands. Now, what I found is you have to loosen this top. You don't have to take it all the way off, but you have to loosen it a little bit to allow air to come in when the water comes out. See, so that. Um, you can use it as a sink. Um, I wouldn't put water to drink in there since this was previously used for storing um, laundry detergent. But I just put water in there so I can use it to wash my hands, wash dishes, and whatnot. So it's working out really well. As you can see, I currently have the inverter going, and the reason for that is um, food is cooking. I'm um, currently cooking breakfast here. I've got eggs that have cooked. And they look to be done. So I'm just going to go ahead and shut the system down here. This is um, cooking solely off the inverter inside the rice cooker. And what I'm planning on doing is just making egg sandwiches this morning for breakfast. And since the eggs are cooked, I'll go ahead and shut the whole system off and I can shut the car off. So the inverter cooking system does appear to be working and can be useful. I've used it to um, cook rice and I've used it to cook um, different types of pasta, including. Um, Including this here, um, I've got like pasta over here that I'm cooking. Hi! Just had a, a park ranger here pull up. I don't know if you saw there. They had a park ranger just pulled up on me to ask if I'm living out here, and um, I told him I wasn't. I was just camping out here, and he said, "Oh yeah, there's some people living out here, but they monitor for people throwing trash down and stuff." So I'm not uh, throwing down any trash. As you can see, I've got um, my trash with me here. Basically, I try to take out what I come in with, so that's what I'm doing. So they're looking around for people dumping because a lot of people dump things out here. Um, I'm pretty much, I think I'm going to be okay as far as setting up a camp over here as long as it doesn't look like I'm living here. But um, basically, that's about it. Um, that's where we're at right now. Food's done. The inverter system appears to be working. I'm able to cook the food, and I think I should be okay. Um, as far as this area here, I'm thinking of setting up a little structure so that I can um, basically um, chill and relax and do some work sitting upright instead of um, in the vehicle. Even though I have, I have uh, the vehicle right here, I have the ability to set up office mode, which I'll show off later. You still are kind of crunched because it's in a minivan. So um, ideally, you'd, you'd be able to set up outside where... Um, you can actually sit up straight and not worry about it. A quick update um, for those of you curious about the refrigerator that I have in here. It is 120 volt. It's a regular dorm fridge. Let's see here. Basically, I have ice in there. I have ice in this big container. You can get it out here. You can see here, I have a container here filled with, it was filled with ice last night, but now it's got ice and water. So far, it's lasting one day. Also, I have little ice bottles up there. And it seems to be keeping food um, food cold. So, um, I'm thinking the ice will probably last one or two days, and I have to make an ice run if I intend to keep things cold. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, system seems to be working, and I think this is an ideal camping spot. Ranger did come up and ask if I lived here. <laughs> told him no I'm camping he said there are several people living out here so um, you know I asked him if it was okay to live out here and he said that um, well not really but um, I guess they don't do anything about them because as long as you're not doing anything wrong or bad I guess they sort of leave you alone the main thing they're looking for are people just dumping stuff there's um, all sorts of trash out here people just come out here and dump stuff I don't know why they do that it's um, it's a really nice area for hunting, camping, and fishing, but um, when people dump the stuff everywhere, it, it makes it look so bad out here. I'm planning on actually cleaning up this area and trying to make it a nicer uh, camp spot, removing all these um, nails and stuff that are on the floor here, and just clearing it up and making it look nice. So.
Hopefully they don't give me a hard time with it. We'll see what happens. Um, I guess until next time, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. I uh, hope to see you on YouTube. Take care now.